Come with me to the mountains of Sicily as we explore the Norello Mascalese grape. Welcome back to Drinking It In. I'm your host, Chris Cassara. We are here to help you know more and drink better. And we are in Sicily today. Um, even though I'm actually in Washington, D.C. We're in Sicily. We're we are taking our minds to Sicily today. We are drinking some Etna Rosso, which is a classification of, uh, of wine um, based primarily on the Norello Mascalese grape. So the Norello grape with its, um, it also has a little, its little sister, Norello Cappuccio, which um, tend to be blended together, um, is, a, is a grape that They're coming to take me away. Um, it's a grape that uh, really only grows in uh, in Italy, in Sicily, near Mount Etna, right? Hence, hence the Etna Rosso, right? Because what we're going to see, oh boy, what we're going to see is that this is a red wine. It's a pretty light red wine. Um, you know, it's probably comes through on the camera, but it's kind of like one of those white wa red wines that you can see through. Um, and, uh, you know, it's because of where it's grown and the, the weight of it, right? You're going to get a lot of red fruit, um, and you could get some, uh, ashiness and smokiness, uh, because of where it's grown. So think strawberries, raspberries, orange peel, and, um, you know, some smoke notes, right? There's also a floral component to it generally. So if you, um, if you think about, um, those characteristics, right? It's, um, it's kind of like Pinot Noir without the, you know, if you, if you eliminate the smoke. So, um, pretty, um, it's a, you know, as far as the weight of this wine, it's going to be more towards the middle of the scale, right? If I've got, you know, lightweight, heavyweight, it's almost towards the mid weight, middle weight, uh, you know, medium weight of that scale. Um, you know, so as a result, you know, pork, chicken, Grilled veggies, anything really that have um, anything that has a lot of herbs in it, really good matches. Uh, let's see, let's see what this wine. Actually, I'm gonna agitate this a little, and um, I'm gonna tell you what the wine is because what I've been noticing lately is I'm not doing a good job of saying, okay, we are drinking the 2010 Masseria Sette Porte Etna Rosso. I got it. Okay, so. And again, so Edna Rosso is a DOC, D-O-C, a Denominazione origin, Origine Controllata. Oh, I don't sound like somebody who took eight years of Italian in his life. Um, well, apologies to my ancestors and all my cousins. Let's see what this one smells like. Oh, wow. So this smells like the most beautiful candied red cherries that you're, you will ever come across. I'm not getting the smoke note, like that ashy smoke note, but there's a, um, there's a, like it smells rocky, rocky cherries. Well, this guy is really pretty. Um, again, 2010, amazing vintage all over Europe. Sicily was no exception. Damn, this is this is beautiful. I'm getting some of the ro you know, I'm getting that the roses, the floral notes are coming through. Ooh. Hmm. Wow. Now, I mean, I've had, um, I've been drinking a good amount of Etna Rosso's over the last, not drinking a good amount, but I've had several um, different expressions, attended a few tastings over the last like five, seven years as it's really gained in popularity. But you can really see why these wines are, um, are becoming more sought after. They're getting, they're, they're starting to get, become priced a little higher. Um, but this is just, and it's better than any Pinot Noir you're going to find. 
I know I always rail against Pinot Noir. I'm looking, not against Pinot Noir, but always looking for a Pinot Noir alternative. Et Noroso is a Pinot Noir alternative, and it's a damn good one. This guy is just, be this, this guy's pretty. There's no other way to say it. It's so easy to drink. I literally just opened this like um, a half hour ago, but, and I'm going to come back to it tomorrow, see whether it has uh, developed further. But, uh, you know, drink some more at Noroso. Get some Norella Mascalese in your life. See you next time. Cheers.